Crypto Lights here, but back with another video, guys. And today I want to talk about Cardia Chain. So I'm going to do a little bit of a different video than what I normally do. I think it's significant for me to make this kind of content right now because we are in a critical stage of the bull market or bull cycle um, where, you know, we need to find those tokens that haven't actually taken off yet because we've seen a lot of layer ones, a lot of metaverse gaming solutions that have gone absolutely nuts, all right, guys? And a lot of people will FOMO into those. And yes, you will make money, but how do you maximize your returns in this stage of the bull cycle that we're currently in? And one of the things that I do is I look for tokens in those same narratives that haven't exactly gone nuts yet, or at least haven't broken their all-time highs yet. So one example that I want to give you um, in the uh, layer one area is Cardia Chain. All right, guys, we've seen a lot of layer ones going nuts. We've seen Avalanche, uh, Phantom, um, you know, Near Protocol, um, you know, all sorts of layer ones that were going absolutely crazy. Solana being obviously the primary example. Um, and they're taking a lot of dominance away from Ethereum, away from Bitcoin and stuff like that. So obviously this narrative we need to pay attention to and we need to kind of follow the money. OK, guys, so when we look in the layer one ecosystem, uh, we look at something like Cardia Chain, or I do at least, and I see, you know what? This hasn't taken off yet, okay? Now, I actually got in in this area over here. And, you know, why it's, I think it's a good idea to get in after you've seen the first initial pump and pullback is for the simple fact that, you know, if it is hanging around down here too long at this stage in the bull run, it's probably telling you something. It's probably not the best place to put your money. But when you see the, the movement and the volume coming in, um, it kind of gives you an indication that a lot of money is flowing into a project like this. And then when you look at the fundamentals, exactly what's going on, it's a layer one solution. They've got smart contracts. It's based in Vietnam. Cardia Chain is based in Vietnam. There's a lot of building going on in this ecosystem if you check the metrics. Okay, guys. In fact, if you go to the website, the website is pretty attractive. Okay. And uh, they've got a really good project. Uh, they've got their own de decentralized exchange. So we have the Kydex and so on. Um, uh, they've got a farming platform, all that sort of stuff. So they've got the car de uh, the car decks, staking, everything that you would expect to see from a layer one. And not only that, you know, people are building it. You know, the ecosystem is becoming ever more popular. And when you think about the region that it's in, it's actually in Vietnam. OK, so obviously the Far East, um, it's massive you know, community, population, all that sort of stuff. And Cardia Chain aims to kind of like be the next Binance, all right, guys. And they've got lots of partners and all that sort of stuff. But if we leave the fundamentals even out of it uh, and the technology and everything, and we just even just look at the chart, you see that the chart is super bullish. And that's just in my opinion. Okay, guys. Now, one of the ways that I actually make money is just uh, most of my money is by recognizing the chart patterns. That's how I get most of my successful trades. Um, if I give you an example of this particular chart pattern, which you've seen me do it before. Okay, guys. Historically, when I first started the channel, that's what I used to do as well. I used to show you how I get to my conclusions on these tokens. So if we go to Binance, for example, and we look at some of the um, um, some of the tokens that have actually taken off already in this same type of narrative. There's only a few examples that I'm going to give you, uh, which have a similar kind of layout or structure to this chart right here, which is why I believe this is going to follow the same kind of pattern. Okay, guys. So the first example that I want to give you is Luna. So if we look at Luna, uh, USDT pairs I'm looking at, by the way. Okay, guys, this to me looks the same. If you look at this area over here, I'd say that this is where we are with Cardia Chain. And if you look at the pattern, um, let's just get this out. If we look at the pattern, you have this big structure over here, this big up and then straight down. And then we have this bottom over here. You get the same kind of thing with Cardia Chain. You've got this big, oh, I need to put my paintbrush on. You've got this big pattern over here. And then we have that coming down there. All right, guys, obviously it's a bit bigger, um, but, you know, let's just squash it up a bit. You have this big pattern down here. All right, guys, and now we are getting that move to the upside. So for me, that looks pretty similar. So I would expect it to potentially break out, maybe come down to retest the previous highs at some point, and then kind of shoot back up to the upside. So that's Luna for one example. Okay, guys? Let's have another example. If we look at the AVAX chart, very similar, okay? AVAX is putting in the same kind of structure, in my opinion, or it has done already. You have this big, uh, you know, upside over here, then a full retracement back down, and then we get it move up, okay, guys? We get that sideways consolidation near the all-time highs, 
shoot up, down and up. And you can see the same thing again with Cardia Chain. Massive upside, okay, big sell off, right back down to the bottom, massive retracement, and now it's moving up, sideways consolidation, and now potentially a breakout of this level right over here, okay, guys. I've got that line up there, and I'll show you exactly what that's for. That's basically my first target, and um, when I do a Fibonacci retracement, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But one more example, let's say, for example, if we look at the Phantom chart, another similar example. Okay, guys, so we have, let's get rid of that. So we have, you know, I'm sure you can see it already, massive pump to the upside. Obviously, it squares off at the top, curve down to the bottom after a big retracement, and then break out, little consolidation, and then break out past the all-time highs, a dip, and then a way free to the upside. Okay, guys, so those are just some examples of why I believe that Cardia Chain is going to follow that same pattern. I look for those that haven't taken off yet in the same kind of narrative with lots of potential that are lagging behind a little bit and will potentially follow the same pattern and it seems to be proven you know to be correct at the moment so far okay guys so if we do a fibonacci retracement it gives you a scope for potential targets on this okay guys and obviously when we look at the other ones as time goes by we can get a little bit more of a bigger picture of where this could eventually be going even after the big pump okay guys so even just from this area right here if we do a measured move to the first target which is the point 1.618 um uh, fibonacci we have 60 percent from where we're going right here so that's where i would expect the potential first dip on that all right guys and then after that a move up to the upside to start to begin to test these levels up here for potential targets okay guys if we measure the whole move um you would look at a potential 3x from this point okay guys now you could get a potential 3x in avalanche phantom and um and what's the other one um uh you know some of the other ones that we looked at you could potentially get a free x in those as well there is a danger that they are up so high already there's only two months left potentially to be between two and four months left of this uh, bull cycle uh, i personally believe so what would you rather do would you rather be in something that's already took off already i mean it's kind of like follow the money with that sort of thing okay guys but the higher up they are the more risk there is that they can come down and not only that the less chance you have of making um more gains rather than getting into something like this that hasn't even broken its all-time high yet it's beginning to test those levels and beginning to catch it before the breakout and then kind of riding it up to you know wherever it can potentially go and you can scale out on the way up just to put yourself in a safer position and even with the position that you leave in let's say for example I'm already up about 50% on this uh, uh, this trade. Uh, so there's potential there for me to kind of scale out once I reach 100%, maybe take half my investment out or, or my full investment out, 150%, uh, which would be 100% of what I put in and leave the rest to ride. Although I don't actually plan to do that with Cardia Chain because I believe that this will just be the first uh, target. Obviously, there will be a dip probably back down to support um, not financial advice, but you know that would be a good buying opportunity if you did miss this breakout. You'll probably come back down to test the previous higher support, just like we've seen in the other chains, and then probably shoot up and do another massive pump to the upside and break that level and start to test those higher Fibonacci levels. Okay, guys. So that's what I look for. I look for those uh, tokens that haven't really taken off yet, and for some reason, not a lot of people are talking about it yet. Um, you can almost guarantee that once this does break its all-time high, you're going to see a lot of influencers coming out saying, you know what, Cardia Chain's breaking all-time highs, Cardia Chain, Cardia Chain. They're going to be, you know, a little bit late to the party. All right, guys. That being said, let's have a look at another token um, in the Metaverse section. Okay, guys, I'm actually in this token. Let's just go over to alien worlds okay now if you look at it on kucoin it's going to look like it's done a massive pump already it's left without you all right guys but if you look at it on binance for example or trading view or wherever you like to use your charts right guys i tend to use the exchanges that i'm trading on okay but if we look at alien worlds now i was actually in alien worlds in this pump over here where i took profit putting in the same not the same kind of pattern all right, guys, but if we look at some other market cycles, for example, which I'm not going to do now, all right, guys, but I'm just going to give you an example 
of something that hasn't taken off yet. Um, Alien Worlds is a metaverse token, NFTs, gaming, all wrapped in one. So we've got gaming, metaverse, NFTs. Obviously, that narrative is hot right now. Okay, so we have Alien Worlds that hasn't broken its all-time highs yet. All right, it's actually a new token, so it's fresh to market. It's listed on Binance, it's on your major exchange, not on Coinbase yet, but it's on your KuCoin, your Binance, and I'm guessing, you know, quite a few other exchanges. Let's just have a look, actually. Alien Worlds. Oh, and by the way, Cardio Chain is only 453 million in market cap, so it's still under a billion. Okay, guys, so very undervalued, I would say, for Cardio Chain, but Alien Worlds, if we look at Alien Worlds, it's 432 million. That's under a billion as well. But if you look at that, you know, it's not even come out of the red zone yet. It's not even come back into the green zone yet. So a lot of potential upside for Alien Worlds. Um, you can check out the website in your own time. All right, guys, I just want to give you an example of Metaverse uh, that hasn't taken off yet. So if you were to go on Token Metrics or anything like that, and you were to cross-reference all of the, you know, hot topics right now, Metaverse, gaming, you know, Layer 1, uh, uh, you know, this one would pop up in at least three of those searches, Metaverse, Gaming, and NFTs. Okay, so for me, that would make this bullish um, just straight away. Uh, secondly, it's had a massive sell-off from its previous highs. Obviously, down here, it's taken a while, but we see this massive accumulation. All right, guys, we see a double bottom, potentially, over here and over here, and we see it is uptrending because it's not actually a full bottom, and now it is starting to move to the upside, and it's taken out its previous highs, so now it's putting in higher highs and higher lows. We've got a higher high over here, higher low, higher high, and now we will potentially put in a higher low over here, and it will start making its way up towards that $1 mark. Obviously, if it makes its way up to 87 cents, it's going to break through that potentially. It's going to go to a dollar and probably break out, you know, and make some new um, all-time highs in this token. All right, guys, so I want you to look for tokens that haven't actually taken off yet. They're in the same narrative. You see the volume coming in as well, by the way, all right? Um, yeah, that's where you're going to make most of your gains in this bull cycle right now, all right, guys? So I want to put those two tokens on your radar. I'm not going to do a massive breakdown on Alien Worlds. I have spoken about it on the channel as well before. But yeah, guys, make sure you do your research. Of course, none of this is financial advice, but take advantage in this bull run. Look for other tokens like that. You'll see other examples. All right, guys, you've seen a lot of TA from different people, so you might recognize some of these charts as well. This one looks like a one wave as well. So that could be your wave one. And then obviously a free wave would be a massive wave and then it will have a dip and then a massive five wave to the upside potentially. All right, guys. So, yeah, I mean, that's just my two cents on these two, these two tokens that I'm bullish on. I am invested in both of these. I've got more exposure to one than the other. However, obviously, with TLM Alien Worlds being way down here, all right, guys, I can put a very smaller investment in and hopefully ride that up. All right, if you put 10,000 in and you get 10x, you made 100 grand. All right, guys, and I believe that Alien Worlds can more than 10x in this bull run alone. And that's not a price prediction, that's just potential. All right, guys, at least, you know, a, t a 2 to 3x, 5x, I would say, out of Alien Worlds. And um, potentially a lot more considering it's a metaverse token. All right, guys, now, obviously, it hasn't pumped yet. So that would say that, you know, it's lagging behind or maybe people aren't as excited about this project as they are with you know sandbox or mana for example but i think basically it's a lower market cap it's just waiting for the money to flow down into it so let's see how it goes all right guys uh, that being said it's the end of the video guys make sure you like and subscribe let me know what you think about this video i want to put more videos out like this in this stage of the bull run because at the end of the day we need to know where to find those gains that's it for now subscribe to the channel i'll see you guys in the next video